We too were J6ers. We were there at the Capitol that day. One of the things that makes our story stand out a little differently, we were in prayer on the right side of the barricades. We did not go in the Capitol. We did not breach a barricade. We were in prayer when my husband and I began to be struck by the Metro Police Department. It started with us in prayer and I felt a hit on my hand. And when I turned to see what had just happened, I hear my husband scream out. I look over to see his back to the police line and they are absolutely wailing on him with batons striking about his head and his shoulders. When I jumped into the police line to stop them from attacking my husband, they tried to pull me over the barricades. At that point, I call him my angel, but a man from behind picked me up like I was a rag doll and pulled me out of the grips of the Metro Police Department. From there, we ended up with a raid on our home. That raid included an MRAP, which is a nice term for a tank. We were flashbang grenaded. We had 22 federal agents on our property. We had two SWAT teams and M4s pointed at us because we are so dangerous for having the audacity to stand up for what is right. You know, we were there for no other reason, but we felt there was enough evidence to question that there may be a stolen election. We weren't asking for someone to agree with us. We were asking for integrity. And when we started seeing it swept under the rug, it confirmed there was something wrong. A simple investigation could have at least given them the optics they needed for this. From there, we have spent the night in jail. And by the way, we were so dangerous that they needed a tank to arrest us. They let us out on our own recognizance the next day. We've been living this nightmare for two years and we're the lucky ones. We still have our home. We still have our family beside us. Most J6ers have lost their homes. They've lost their families. They've been alienated from their, our communities. It's like wearing a scarlet letter in modern time. Or like I love one of my dear friends has stated, we are the lepers of modern day society because everyone will nod their head in agreement with you, but they won't stand up for you. From there, I'm gonna let my husband pick up on where that has brought us. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Middleton and thank all of y'all for coming out and, and those in, in the audience all online. So from there, um, the government wants to silence all of us. They wanna terrify us and they wanna silence us. But instead of silencing Jaleese and I, what it did is it pissed us off and it made us stand up and speak out because we're just two of 1,100 right now. So what we did is we formed American Patriot Relief because at the time there was nobody helping the J6ers. We were truly the lepers of society. And we start hearing stories from the various J6 mothers and the J6 wives and the other J6ers that, that we were starting to get in contact with. So we formed American Patriot Relief to not fund necessarily the legal fees, but to help the families. When J6ers need to go to and from DC for their, for their trials, we're helping fund that to send them there. For the families to finally now, after two years, are able to go see their family members, helping fund that as well. And then if the family needs shoes for the children, a lot of J6ers, what a lot of people don't know, were single income families. Dad's now in prison sometimes for up to over two years now. Who's, who's helping feed those children? Who's buying them shoes? Who's, who's paying for mom's car to get fixed when it broke down? That's what we're doing at American Patriot Relief. And we're gonna keep doing this. And whatever happens to Jaleesa and I, our trial is August 21st. We've placed ourselves into God's hands. This is truly a movement of God. We are trying to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. And we need all of y'all to help us do that as well. Thank y'all.